It says apply a dime size amount, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm actually going to be talking about the Miel Rice Water Collection. It recently dropped... Uh, it dropped about a month ago on I think May 7th or May 8th I think that was May 7th but I just recently got it um, shipping took a little bit longer than I expected but I, nonetheless I have these products here for you today so if you guys are interested in watching how I feel about the Miel rice water collection then keep on watching hey what's up you guys so before I get started I actually want to talk about two things the nut your mother's matcha green tea and wild apple blossom uh, butter mask this stuff I tried it out a few times it smells really really good um, didn't know how I felt about it the first time so I decided to give it a couple more tries but I decided that I really do like this product um, what had me a little bit skeptical at first was the fact that it was pretty it was pretty thick it made my hair feel kind of funny the first time around which was a little weird like my hair was usually I can just run my fingers through my hair with no problem but because this was so thick like I couldn't really run my hair run my fingers through my hair that well and it just made my hair feel a little bit rough but then I just realized that it was probably because I put so much on and the product is so thick but yeah, I've come to the conclusion that I really do like this product. My hair, after using it a few times, my hair has just been like luscious. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. Like, my hair has just been so smooth and so nice. So, I do recommend this product. You can get it at the drugstore, you can get it at Ulta. Um, but, yes, highly recommend this. So, Miel, the brand that we all know and love dropped a rice water collection the day they dropped the collection they actually um, put it half off I think it was and everything was pretty much five dollars which was awesome I, I purchased it right away it did however take almost a month I'm not even kidding it took almost a month to get it and I was getting a little nervous because as we all know I've gotten few packages not just one a few packages stolen off my doorstep so I was a little nervous because I thought that they probably just sent it and I probably just didn't get it but then I saw someone post a video of them using the collection and then I noticed that a lot of comments on it uh, that there were a lot of comments talking about how people haven't even received their tracking information so that's when I realized that I hadn't even received my tracking information so they were probably just running behind on shipping which is obviously very understandable considering the situation that we're in so that was a little rough I did want to include this collection in my haul video but unfortunately I literally just got it a couple days ago but I have it now so I'm really really excited to try this out so what I got was the rice water I probably shouldn't say rice water considering it's a rice water collection, right? Um, I got the clay mask, so this is actually for your body and your hair. I got the moisture, yeah, the moisturizing milk, the shine mist, and the split end therapy. Now, I already used the clay mask in my hair and it was it was a little weird um this is like i've never used a clay mask it literally smells like a clay mask this is what it looks like it's a very thick consistency and i've never used a clay mask on my hair before um and i'll insert a clip of me applying it to my hair but it was really really thick so i ended up splitting my hair into sections in order to apply it um the most efficient way possible it did take me a little bit obviously because it was so thick but yeah it was actually not that bad um let me stop babbling and show you guys what my hair looks like so 
so my hair definitely does feel moisturized. And it feels like it's, it feels really, really healthy. It still smells like, oh my gosh. So far, so good. Um, I would like to try it maybe a couple more times to see if I really, how I really feel about it. But I think, I think I am enjoying this product. Before I wash my hair, I did try the split end there. So you're supposed to rub this all over your hair before you shampoo it. And I tried it. I didn't, I think I want to try this again because I didn't see much of a difference. Um, but then again, I haven't gotten a trim in quite a while. <laughs> so I don't want to knock it based on the first try. And my hair is pretty, like I might just end up giving myself a quick little trim. I'll probably give you guys an update on this as well. All right. So today we're actually going to be trying out the moisturizing milk and the shine mist. I'm going to split my hair into two sections down the middle. It says apply a dime size amount, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go in with this much. So far it kind of feels like their curl smoothie like the consistency the consistency is the same it doesn't smell the same this honestly doesn't really smell like much if anything it smells kind of like fresh whereas like their their pom their pomegranate and honey smoo uh, curl smoothie smells absolutely amazing it literally smells like candy I'm gonna apply a little bit more to my crown area. I feel like I always neglect the back of my head. So I'm so curious to see how this ends up working because I don't know how I feel about the brand yet. Like, I've used their, curl, their leave-in conditioner and curl smoothie and I'm not the biggest fan like it does the job but like like I feel like I gravitate towards my other curl products more like I wouldn't choose a meal product like they just don't feel like I, I know like there's people rave about this stuff and everything but like I'm just not I don't see the hype to be honest like don't get me wrong like the founder I think it's Monique Rodriguez like Props to her for starting her whole her own line and stuff, but I just don't think these products are for me. Usually, I heard her deep conditioners are really really good though. Um, I haven't I haven't been able to try any yet, but I'm really curious to give those a try. But in terms of like her other styling products, I'm just not the biggest fan. I'm really excited about this line, and I hope that it works because so far this milk it does feel moisturizing compared to the curl smoothie like applying it was really really nice and my hair looks nice and defined pretty sure I've coated my whole head with this stuff um, I'm gonna I wanna air dry or diffuse I'm gonna air dry today I don't know we'll see the moisturizing milk claims it has no parabens, no sulfates, no paraffins, no mineral oil, no DEA, and no animal testing, which is nice. But in the ingredients, there is a little bit of alcohol. It does contain protein, which is good. You should always have products that contain a moisturizing agent and protein because that way it balances your hair out. If you get too much moisture and not enough protein, you can definitely get negative you can definitely get negative effects on your hair same as vice versa yeah there's quite a bit of oils and proteins in here so i'm really really excited about this um and it says this is a daily moisturizer wow 
So it says, this daily moisturizer is a perfect solution for bringing life back to dry, thirsty hair. It's infused with the key ingredients such as safflower oil, rice water, yuzu, castor oil, and coconut oil to strengthen and lock in moisture. Oh, I love the fact that this has castor oil in it. I have the residue on my hand and it doesn't feel sticky. It feels very like... It feels really moisturizing, surprisingly. I literally... I haven't even like washed my hands yet and I feel like I just put on lotion. I'm okay now I'm like really excited for this product so I'm probably gonna go let this air dry or diffuse I don't know how I'm gonna feel but I'm really excited to see the results of this stuff um, and then I'm probably gonna top it off with the shine mist after so I'll see you guys in a little bit I'm back and let me tell you guys this stuff is like straight up like oil in my hair as I was diffusing, I would like scrunch my hair a little bit to see if it's dry or not and literally like I just get oil, which is not a bad thing. Like I have nothing against it. I'm just like, like this stuff, it's like pretty moisturizing. Like I feel my hair literally like oil comes off. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced a really, really moisturizing product that like you just feel your curls and you're like, yes like these curls are moisturized and like I don't even know how to describe it it's like you pick up a curl and you just like you can just feel how it's like moisturized it's just like you don't feel any frizz you just feel like like a solid curl like I don't even know how to describe it but I'm literally like running my fingers through my hair and I'm like yes this is moisture Now, one thing I noticed while I was fluffing was that I, it does give me a little bit of like white flakes. So like that's one thing to know. It's just a little bit, like nothing overbearing as if like it's not to the level of gel flakes, but there were like a few here and there. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, but my hair, like every time I touch it, I literally feel just like oil residue which is fine like I personally don't mind it I just kind of rub my hands together and free lotion but I can definitely tell my curls are very moisturized like I'm gonna get closer but like if you can see look at this my hair is a little bit frizzy but like look at the shine speaking of shine actually can't forget about the shine mist oh, sorry guys the lighting is a little wonky because there's literally a tree right in front of my window so and the Sun is setting I definitely put too much but like couldn't help it I couldn't really tell if I was spraying my hair or not like it's such a it's kind of it's, it's such a broad mist that I couldn't really tell but is my hair shiny I love these results guys all right let's talk about it let's talk about this I love the results and I don't even know if it's just that I'm sitting in front of my window that I'm just getting this glow but like you guys know I truly truly enjoy moisturizing hair creams like that's what I swear by and this stuff is it like my hair feels so good and so healthy I wish it wasn't as frizzy as it is I feel like I personally feel like it is my fault um, but it feels so good the shine mist i'm enjoying as well 
I'm definitely for any added moisture to your wash and go. Um, you guys know that I typically like to use shine mist or any type of oil mist on my hair after I diffuse just because I do add a little bit of heat to my hair and I just don't want to damage my hair at all. So I do enjoy this. Oh wow, this can actually be used to refresh your curls as well. So I'm probably going to try this to refresh. I don't know if that's really going to work, but I'm curious to see the results. So far, I would recommend these two products for you guys. It's, my hair feels really, really moisturized. I do feel a bit oily though. Like my hands, like right now holding these products, like I just feel like I'm really oily. Um, but if you personally don't mind that, then by all means, please get this. I don't think you'll regret it. This is my finished wash and go guys. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you're interested in this product. And um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.